Okay, I'm back again. Um, it is about this particular baby. I was, I'm also on Facebook. And I was reading all the new messages from all kinds of people that, uh, that I'm, I'm, I'm friends with. And, um, th and then I came, I came up to a, um, to a message. Someone uh, was uh, horrified because uh, probably an Italian woman was selling a silicone baby, but it was made of the coco sculpt. So she had stolen the coco sculpt, which is of course uh, copyrighted or trademark. No, how do you say that? It's made by Natalie Blick, and uh, it was it was exactly exactly it was the coco sculpt because I have her. I could compare it. You can very nicely see it uh, from the hands because she has very special hands. Her hands have a very special uh, way of how the fingers are folded etc and the face of course and the body and the and of course especially the feet you can see it from because that that's also very detailed it was the coco sculpt and that that woman had made a um, silicone baby of her and she was selling it for a, a start a starter's price of uh, i think a little bit over one thousand dollar so that that woman that that, that did see that uh, she put it on did put it on Facebook and she said I'm horrified and she put on the link and the and some photos and she said this is the coco sculpt this woman has stolen the coco sculpt to uh, make silicone babies of her and then um, yeah then uh, uh, make a fortune out of that Be and so we uh, we notified Natalie Blick herself and yeah she was very sad. And I did, uh, you can make an, um, at a, uh, at a, uh, when on eBay there's something uh, on, sale, on sale and it's not appropriate, like in this, is, in this case it was, yeah, it was stealing, it was stealing other, uh, other person's work and that is from Natalie Blick because she sculpted her and Natalie Blick, Blick didn't give permission or anything she didn't know, even know that she was on ebay like uh, as a silicone baby and unfortunately of course people did bid on her but uh, there is a you can you can file a complaint at ebay and then you can uh, say that it is uh, a copyright violation uh, it's not exactly in those words but uh, it means the same so i did that and i spread the word uh, on uh, on Facebook there is uh, also a reborn I don't know how it's called but it's uh, for the reborn com for the reborners community so the reborns themselves etc and I also put it over there and uh, I asked if other people should uh, or wanted to make the same complaint because when you make uh, when there are more people that say that it's a stolen that it's a copyright violation that it that that baby is yeah that it's stolen from somebody um, then eBay can make a case of course and I don't know if many people did maybe unfortunately they didn't uh, but um, it was very strange then I looked and she was sold for two thousand and something dollars but uh, the strange thing, thing was um, uh, just after that she came up again so that that, that woman that first did place that uh, message on facebook that uh, the coco sculpt was stolen uh, to make a silicone baby and was on ebay for sale she again was on ebay for sale and it were the, exactly the same photographs so i thought uh, well i i don't know what to think of this uh, um but i hope uh, um yeah i can warn um uh, in this way i can warn you guys that uh, this is uh, going on uh, there are people that are stealing other man other uh, women's or other men's work and uh, they can yeah they, i think they get away with it or but i think that's not that's not fair they shouldn't cut away with it uh, i think um, that woman uh, and her 
Silicon Baby, I think eBay had to take her off of eBay. So she can't sell that baby because um, she's, a, she's a thief. She's an ordinary thief. So I was pretty, uh, pretty uh, angry about it too because I have the real Coco. And um, yeah, and I think for Natalie Blick, I think it, it's uh, pretty sad. So I already uh, mailed Natalie and I said, uh, can't you do anything about this? And yeah, she said, I'm going to contact the seller, the, the, the woman who sells uh, the silicone baby. But I thought, well, that's not going to work because that seller is not going to listen. Of course, she's not taking off uh, the baby. And now it was on again. So I don't know what happened, if it's another that she's selling. But it was with exactly the same photographs of the previous one. So, but uh, yeah, I'm very sad that people can get away with this. I'm very sad because this is a very beautiful sculpt, and she is not a. Um, she's a. She's also because of she, the way she is. She is a pretty expensive sculpt, and yeah, you know, you know, and then uh, su such a person steals the. Steals the sculpt, makes silicone, uh, makes silicone baby of it, and she starts to sell it on eBay for uh, starting uh, over the one thousand dollars. So, yeah, I think it's very, very, very sad that it has to come to this. And, but yeah, the only thing is um, uh, the people who know, of course, about the coca sculpt, who know what she looks like. Um, I only can say uh, if you see her in silicone on eBay, then you know that it's that it's a stolen art, and then you shouldn't buy it. If you have a heart, if you have a conscience, you shouldn't buy it. Uh, of course, it can happen that some some people did uh, did um, bid on her because they didn't know that it was in that this is the real coca sculpt. And that that was a uh, a stolen uh, a stolen baby, so to speak, a stolen uh, sculpt. So uh, because yeah, you can't you can't know every sculpt. Not you can't know every sculpt, of course. You can you can't know how every sculpt that is uh, brought to the market what it looks like because there are so many. But I think the coca sculpt is a pretty. Um, famous sculpt because of her uh, the, the first full bodied uh, with ball jointed baby newborn baby so yeah um, so no I think it's very sad so but I wanted to tell you that because uh, yeah we were uh, on Facebook the real people that I have a conscience and uh, that think that uh, the one who makes those beautiful sculpts of, re of reborn babies um, and that they, uh, they are the ones that should make money out of it and not a thief, you know. So, but that's what I wanted to show you guys, or tell you guys. So. so keep an eye out on eBay and be careful because... Um, yeah, if this woman gets away with it, then other people probably who did see what was happening, like we did, maybe uh, there will be people that are going to do the same with other sculpts. And um, so, yeah, and I hope that, uh, that um, yeah, yeah, there's, there are always people that, um, yeah, that will bid on it and that want to want to have it and um, uh, and and probably uh, and and probably even it's even possible that they know that they are buying a silicone baby that is stolen from a sculpt from yeah a famous sculptress or sculptor or and they still go on with it so uh, yeah and in that case. Um, it will happen more and more and more until we do something about it. We all do something about it and put complaints on those pages with the stolen sculpts and uh, and 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 and, and um, tell eBay that it is uh, yeah that is that it that it is 
um, yeah, that it should uh, be um, that eBay should take it off of eBay because it's stolen because it doesn't belong there. It's it's uh, it's illegal. It's illegal. So, but okay, I'm going to stop now, and um, I will, I think, make videos. I'm going to try to change my babies into Christmas clothes, into at, at least festive, festive, festive clothes, so beautiful clothes. And I uh, started with uh, my, little, uh, my little Rose, and she's going to wear this. And um, yeah, and but I'm still also busy with uh, reborning Matteo, my Somso uh, African baby boy, and it is. Um, I had hoped that it would uh, go like with the soft final, like I reborn Asia. She is a, a doll factory doll, full bodied and a real girl. I did reborn Asia when I bought her uh, uh, two years ago, and then I reborn her as far as I could because um, I have some. I did have some problems. I couldn't take her apart, so I couldn't give her weight. I couldn't give her a magnet behind her mouth. I couldn't uh, root her hair, but I don't care about that because she has beautiful, molded, curly uh, African hair. It's a real African hair, but then molded, and that's like like. Uh, Rose has painted hair. You see, that's that's the same kind of thing. So I love that kind of hair. And her twin brother um, Ayele has, of course, the same hair because he's the same baby doll. But then he's a boy. He's not as realistic as my Somso baby um, um, Matteo, but he's a boy also. And I have to reborn him also. So and I can do that now because I have the paints, the paints because because I'm reborning now uh, Matteo, but um, the soft soft plus is a little bit different. <laughs> uh, of course, it's different because it's a totally different medium. Uh, it reacts a little bit different on the paints. I have air dry paints from Yosonia, uh, than the soft final does. It's a little bit more difficult. So um, yeah. So I, uh, but I take my time because I want it to be done um, as realistic as possible and as good as possible because I have high standards. Uh, through through the years, I build up high standards by also buying uh, better uh, and more expensive uh, reborns. And um, yeah, now I'm reborning uh, Matteo, and I want that, of course, to be as uh, beautifully done as possible so um, so I have to take my time because I have to work with a pretty thin um, color uh, paint it has to be pretty thin and then it takes a pretty long time I'm now I've started with the dark brown for all the creases and his lips etc etc and that's what I'm working with now and I'm working now on him for about, I think, two weeks. And it takes a, a pretty long time and a lot of layers of that brown mixture, that thin, brown, very thin brown mixture. Uh, um, it takes a pretty long time until you see result and until you can, that I can say, okay, this is brown enough, this is dark enough. So I have to be patient, and, but then it will work. This way it works. This way, the Somsa Plus will take the paint. And um, yeah, so I'm almost done with all the, the brown, where I have to put all the dark, the dark brown. I have uh, burnt umber for that. And then I can go on. And then I'm going to try, uh, and I have to stop again. Then I'm going to try the mint wash on his feet and the inside of his hands to neutralize the brown, if that uh, will happen. And then I can make them beautiful too and uh, realistic too because the inside of the hands etc has to be Caucasian so now I have to stop okay thank you for watching please uh, give a comment bye bye